Determining the credibility of a website. Step one, check the URL. URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator and is the address you see at the top of the screen in your browser window. Every time you do a Google search, the URL for each result is listed in green below the name of the website. Looking at the URL for the site will give you some quick information about the website. The first thing to look at is the generic top-level domain, or as it is more commonly known, is it a .com, .org, .gov, .net, .edu, .mil, .co, and the country code for a country other than the United States, or one of the many other new domains that were made available as of May 2015. Why are these domains important? We want to know if a site we are going to visit contains trustworthy information, or in other words, is credible. Sites at denon.edu are from universities and generally contain information that has been checked by other researchers who are experts in their fields. Sites at denon.gov are from the U.S. government, which also verifies its data and is a very reliable source. .edu and .gov sites are generally considered trustworthy and credible sites to visit. Websites at denon.org are from private organizations that are doing some sort of work in the public interest. These sites are often good resources because their organization should not just be trying to make money. However, they can be biased and should be checked further to determine if they are credible. Sites that end in .com or .net are created by companies or by some unknown person who may possibly have a hidden reason to create the website or may not actually know what they are talking about. Just because a site ends in .com or .net does not mean that it is not credible, but does mean that you will need to look at other criteria as well in order to determine if this is a site you should be getting information from or not. So to recap, .gov and .edu sites tend to be more credible, but you should still look further into any site to make sure that it is a valid source. The URL actually contains more information about the source, but I will be examining that in my next video for step two, consider the author.